We need more maturity when it comes to hitting. We need more mature hitters. Do you even know what mature hitting is? I'm gonna tell you what mature hitters do and what it takes to compete at a high level. The things that they do that many can't do. The natural instincts and ability that they have and how they get it done. I'm gonna tell you not only how they get it done, but what it takes, what not to do, what to do to become a mature hitter. So if you want to enhance your hitting, coaches, if you want your hitters to be better, this is a video you do not wanna miss. Make sure you watch the whole thing. Baseball truth, you shall know the truth, and that truth shall set you free, both physically and mentally. This week's baseball truth is about becoming a mature hitter. Many of you don't even know what that is, but it's pretty obvious as far as what it can be for you, as far as maturity. The more you mature as a hitter, the better results you're gonna get in a game. So this week I'm gonna give you a whole list of different things uh, that mature hitters do, and how they get things done, and what it takes to actually become a mature hitter to where you can actually do it on your own and not rely on other people. So the first thing when it comes to mature hitting is always, always stepping into the box confidently. You are gonna compete confidently every time. Every time you step into the box, you know you put in the work, you know, even if you really don't know, you know you're the best hitter on the planet, you also know that there's nothing that that pitcher can do to get you out, and you're gonna step into the box every situation, every time, every count, every game, knowing that they can't get you out. That's what's called competing confidently. This is what, the first thing that, that it takes to become a mature hitter is competing confidently every time. Now, how do we do that? How do we compete confidently every time? Because hitting is such a roller coaster when it comes to results. Some, day, some days you're good, some days you're not so good. Some days you're getting hit, some days you're not. How do you get that done? How do you compete confidently every time? Well, the key is simple. Stay positive, keep it simple, and know that every time that you get out or you get a hit, you're focusing on your next at bat. You're always focusing on your future at bat, not dwelling on what just happened. It also means that you're not too high or too low. You get a hit, you're on fire, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're hitting the ball really well, you're not thinking about anything too much, you're just stepping in there and getting it done. You're staying positive always. So the first one is always competing confidently and it's always staying positive with what you're gonna do. That's how you get that one done. The next one is a big one because this one is very rampant in the, the youth culture specifically and even into high school and college is make your own adjustments. As a young hitter, you're learning how you operate. You're learning what you do well. You're learning what your weaknesses are. You're learning how to fix your specific weaknesses, but you're also understanding how to adjust to what the pitcher's trying to do to get you out. As a hitter, if I'm gonna be mature, I shouldn't have to rely on outside sources, parents, coaches, teammates, to tell me how to adjust in that situation. The adjustments should be simplified, the adjustments should be easy, and the adjustments should always work for you individually. So in order to become mature when it comes to hitting, you have to be able to think for yourself and adjust yourself and make your own adjustments. The relying on other people these days makes kids so much worse. You've seen it, I've seen it, Kids go back to the dugout after a bad result, they're relying on other people to make their own adjustments for them and they can't ever think for themselves and have that maturity when it comes to hitting. Um, another one is, is after, after a bat at bat, because guess what? You're gonna have bat at bats. Hitting is a hard thing to do. You are going to have bat at bats. You're gonna have pitchers, believe it or not, that make good pitches and get you out. You're gonna have times where you're hitting well and hitting not well. The times you're not hitting well, one thing that shows maturity as a hitter is what you take on the field defensively. Do you take your bat at bat defensively onto the field and you're pouting and you have no energy and you're lazy and you're becoming a horrible teammate or do you get the focus off your last at bat maturity and you focus on how can I help the team defensively? How can I get out there and get the job done defensively whatever position I'm playing? Because I know defensively is just as important as the mindset is offensively. I gotta know that my defense is gonna help the team win as well. So the signs of a mature hitter doesn't take their offensive crap, their bad, their bad at bats onto the field defensively. They get over it really quick, they hustle on and off the field, and they go get it done. Now how does, it, how does that work? How does that happen? How do you get that done? It's simple. Be a great teammate. After you get out, get the focus off of yourself and focus on how can I be a great teammate to help my team win? How can I be a great teammate to help my team be successful? So maturity, when it comes to bad results, is a big deal as far as becoming a mature hitter. Learn to get that focus off yourself and get it on the defensive stuff that you're in. Um, the other thing is you never get 
too high or too low emotionally and mentally. You're not gonna see mature hitters go have rages in the dugouts. You're not gonna see mature hitters get too high when they do something well. They stay the course, they stay even keel. It's okay to get excited when you're doing well. It's okay to have some frustration when you're not doing well, but there's not a huge roller coaster emotionally. Learn that hitting is hard. Learn that you're gonna be bad sometimes and learn that it's part of the game. Okay, well, I'm not saying that after you strike out to go back to the deck, I'll be like, shucks guys, you know, dang it. You know, I just, I'll get them next time. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you have to have that competitive juice, but you have to understand that you can't get too high or too low mentally or emotionally. Maturity shows that. True signs of maturity shows that you're not gonna get too high or too low when the tough gets going, when you're not doing well, and when the tough's doing well. You gotta stay the course and stay even keel when it comes to that. Another sign of a mature hitter is paying attention to pitcher tendencies and studying what's going on in the game. If you're a mature hitter, you know that this pitcher throws down and away, first pitch fastball every time. I'm thinking about that because I'm paying attention to the others at bats. I'm paying attention to the game and the situation. I'm also paying attention to the umpire strike zone. What's he calling, what's he not calling? Is he all over the place? Does he have a small zone? So that I can take that information and maturely step into the box, step up to the plate and have a simple plan and approach about what's going on. Uh, Non-mature hitters do quite the opposite. They're sitting in the dugout. They're not paying attention to what's going on. They're disengaged with what's, what, what's going on with the pitcher. They have no idea what the pitcher throws in different counts. They have no idea what the umpire strike zone is. They have no idea what's going on. They just get in there and they kind of recklessly swing, okay? So maturity starts with understanding the game and being smart enough, having baseball smarts and that intellect to understand pitcher tendencies. Are all pitchers gonna give away what they give away? Most of them do, most of them have tendencies. Some of them don't, some of them is just get in there and competing, but if you're smart, if you pay attention to what's going on, if you pay attention to what the pitcher's trying to do to get you out, and you know the pitcher's strengths and weaknesses, then you're gonna give yourself more of opportunities to compete. And notice it's not about your swing, it's about your mental approach. So pay attention to the game. Pay attention in the dugout. You, I hear coaches all the time say, hey, watch the pitcher. Don't just watch the pitcher, like study the pitcher, study what they're doing, see what they're doing, watch them in the bullpen, watch them in between innings, and, and, and see what they do, and set your approach. And then keep your approach simple. After you study a pitcher, you don't wanna have overanalyzation about what they're trying to do and overthink the situation. You, you wanna be smart enough just to step in the box and get it done. Another thing that shows signs of maturity is sticking to what works for you individually, not adhering to somebody else's way of doing things. And what I mean by that is this, there's a lot of coaches out there trying to help you out. There's gonna be coaches the rest of your life that are trying to do their best to help you the most they can. But you have to understand, you have to take responsibility for your own hitting and you have to know what you do well, what you don't do well, and what works for you. One of the biggest problems in hitting instruction these days is hitters try to do something somebody else's way when their way works. So there's multiple different things that you can do as a hitter that will work. You have to do what works best for you. Quick scenario with that, quick, quick story. Um, a hitter that pulls the ball hard. Why would I wanna instantly change my approach to oppo? I've seen this happen a lot and it actually ruins a lot of hitters. If I pull the hard, ball hard and I'm regularly getting solid contact, stick to it because it works and it's allowing you to be successful at the plate. That doesn't mean you can't adjust your approach sometimes, but I'm just saying that specific scenario, stick to what works. Um, another sign of a mature hitter, and this is a big one, is crush pitches that are supposed to be crushed. If he leaves one in your wheelhouse, Okay, if he leaves one out over the plate, you're supposed to crush that. You're supposed to say, thank you, pitcher, for leaving it there and now hit it hard, and you're supposed to do that. That's not something that you should get too excited about. It's just he left it out over the plate, he made a mistake, I smashed it. That leads into how do we get that done? How we get that done is pretty simple. Don't miss fastballs, number one, and number two, don't miss pitches that are supposed to be crushed. If they hang one, you can't foul it off, you can't fly it out, you can't pop it up, you gotta hit the ball hard. That doesn't mean you're gonna get a hit. Listen, let me make that very clear. Crushing the ball doesn't mean you're gonna get a hit every time. Crushing the ball means you hit it hard and whatever happens after that, if they catch or they don't, has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the scenario and the situation. So understand that crushing crushable pitches shows signs of being a very, very, very mature hitter. Um, another one, another one is understanding the strike zone. This is a big one when it comes to maturity. Understanding what's a ball, what's a strike. When to take a pitch, when not to take a pitch. Kid just before me walked on four straight balls and the pitcher wasn't even close. I should be smart enough to know that's a time to take a pitch, right? Situation allows me to swing at a 3-0 count or a 3-1 or a count. I should be smart enough to understand 
this is the situation and I'm gonna get it. So understanding the strike zone is a big one, but also understanding that if I have control over the strike zone, it's gonna make me a better hitter. One of the biggest problems in hitting instruction these days is we work on just feeding it into kids' wheelhouses and they're hitting it and they're smashing it and they're feeling good about themselves. Then they get into a game and the ball's here and it's here and it's here and it's here and they're swinging at everything because they haven't learned how to take pitches. They haven't learned how to control the strike zone. Hit pitches they're supposed to hit, lay off pitches they're supposed to lay off. So if you want to be a mature hitter, learn to control the strike, strike zone regularly, not just sometimes. And how do you do that? And well, it comes with work, number one. It comes with understanding the strike zone, number two. And it comes with challenging repetitions. You can't work on strike zone recognition if you're just hitting T-work and soft toss in your wheelhouse all the time. So you have to understand that to get better at this, to become a mature hitter, you need more challenging BP that actually works on taking pitches, not just swinging all the time. Uh, the mature hitters rarely, rarely fish for balls out of the strike zone. You, you very rarely, rarely see that. Um, and then the, also, the other thing about mature hitters too is the, the, they're tough outs every time. You see a mature hitter where they, they're up there competing, you know, and they, they'll, they'll draw tough walks. They're not going to fish it tough pitches out of the strike zone. They're gonna have good at bats almost every time. Again, it doesn't mean they're getting a hit every time, but you can rely on them to regularly crush pitches that are supposed to be crushed and take pitches that are tough pitches outside of the zone and not fish at pitches that normal kids would normally fish at. So if you wanna become a mature hitter in that aspect of it, learn to control the strike zone, understand the strike zone, and then have good takes as well. And you have to get that done. And then the last one, and this is probably one of the most important things when it comes to mature hitting. All these are super important. Every one of these is equally important. But this last one um, kind of takes the cake. And it's, it's simple, but it, it reigns supreme when it comes to mental um, confidence, if you want to call it. And that is every hit that you get matters and appreciate it. Every hit. Appreciate every opportunity that you had a hit. So that means you get jammed up and bloop one over the first baseman's head for a double, you should be standing on second base excited, not taking your batting gloves off, all angry and pissed off that you didn't hit it hard. You hit one off the end of the bat, roll one over in the six hole, you beat it out, you should be excited because think about all the times that you'll hit it hard right at somebody. It usually evens out. So mature hitters understand that there's a thankfulness when that ball drops when you didn't hit it well. If you can hit it, if not hit it well and still get a hit, you need to be smiling and be thankful for that opportunity that that ball just dropped. So that's, that's a really, really important sign when it comes to mature hitting. How you work on that is Focus, like I said earlier, on the next day B. No matter what happened in the last day B, focus on the next day B. Focus on staying positive. Keep your mind in the positive. Don't dwell too much on the negative. And always think about what happens when you're successful because you want to tell yourself over and over things that you're doing right and things you're doing successfully because that's going to, you know, in the long run make you a mature hitter. So those are a whole bunch of things that will help you to do that. Um, if you want to become a mature hitter, this takes time. This isn't just something that you just wake up tomorrow and do all these things and, and think that it's going to be awesome. It's just not going to happen. But it's a process of learning to do these things so that maturity happens. And then when mature, maturity happens, guess what else happens? Playing time happens. Guess what else happens? Opportunities at the next level happens. Guess what else happens? Confidence happens. Success happens. So all those things are super important. So if you really want to be a mature hitter, do all the things that I just told you and go get it. God bless.